Hello everyone, Frozen Calls here, and welcome back to Tag Force 5. In the last episode, we began Sherry's story, and we find out that she's on a mission of revenge. And in this episode, we're going to see if we can help her with that revenge, or maybe prevent her from doing something she'll regret. Uh, before we begin, be sure to leave a like down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, yeah. Uh, I changed a little bit. I didn't really change much in Sherry's deck, uh, mostly because of the fact that like her deck is pretty set on summoning Joan and that centaur, so I don't want to sit there and mess that up. So I just replaced some of her trap cards with Bottomless and Dimensional Prison, because those are really good cards. You awake, Chorus? Morning, Sleepyhead. I've come with another favor to ask you today. Perhaps I should call it a resolution rather than a favor. You've heard of the Iliaster, right? They're my parents' enemy th that I'm after. Yeah, all I know is that legends exist, but there's not much information about them. The Iliaster are an ancient group that transcends good and evil. They wield enormous influence over political and financial world leaders. All I found out is they pull the strings behind the WTGP and the WRGP. Yes, that's right. I'm sorry I lied to you. My reason for competing in the WRGP is really to win so I can get close to them. Of course, I know it's a trap. That's some part of that's part of the scheme, but it's a golden opportunity. That's why I want you to make this resolution as well. The Iliaster will stop at nothing to achieve their ends, but we must fight them. Yes, please come with me as my partner. What? Is my complexion bad? Yeah, I still haven't gotten enough sleep. So I can really keep coming over to crash at your place whenever? That's... Aww. <laughs> Thanks. I'm grateful, Chorus. Well, I'd like to get right down to it and carry out a mission tonight. One of this city's leaders is backed by them, so it's time for some rough interrogation. That's right. We're going to break into the Public Security Bureau. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. We've done this so many times. All right. I made it, so that way it's nighttime. So let's begin our infiltration of the Public Security Bureau. Oh, I'm a little nervous. That means we're going to have to fight Lazar again. Uh. Hmm. Making me look at that fire case again now? What's on their minds? Things were so much easier to under Director Goodwin. Excuse me, Vice Director, but I brought the data you asked for. Good work. Now, then, right away. Uh-oh. Well, what was that? That tremor. A bomb has been set inside the building. All personnel must evacuate immediately. Did they just say a bomb? Vice Director, hurry up and evacuate. I don't need to be told that. But rather, it's just... I better get this under control ASAP or the Director will punish me later somehow. A bomb has been set inside the building. All personnel must evacuate immediately. Vice Director! Meh, it can't be helped. Get out right away, down this special evacuation passage. Don't go that way. Who are you? Ah, it was a diversion. Oh, that's very smart. More afraid of punishment than bombs? You must be connected. You must be connected with the Iliaster somehow. What? What are you talking about? Chorus, block the circuits. Turn the radio frequency jammer on. Uh, just what do you plan to do? There's a bomb in the building right now. That's just a bluff, a put on. And the passage this way is locked, so help won't be arriving for a while. So we can have a leisurely chat. Is that clear, Vice Director Lazar? <laughs> what do you want? What are you after with all this? Oh, he wants to know about that card. That, that card! What is that card, anyway? I just want to know the truth. What is this card? Why were my parents sacrificed for this thing? Tell me everything you know. Of course, you're that suspicious character who fled from the scene of the fire. Get your dual disc ready. We'll capture these intruders. Yes, sir. Are you trying to buy time? Do you really think that would work? So far, you've been setting the stage for me. It would be rude if I didn't add to the fun. No chance you can beat us in a tag duel. You'll answer my questions as soon as we win. Victory's a matter of luck. It's when the fickle goddess of triumph smiles upon you. Well, come on then. Showtime's about to begin. <laughs> Ooh, bring it on, Lazar, man. He's another character that I hate to duel against and hate to duel with because he's another, like, stally deck kind of thing. Ugh. And with Mina, that's going to be pretty difficult. Because her Light and Darkness deck is pretty solid. 
I don't think I've ever lost against... I, I think I've lost a lot against her when I dueled on my own. When I played uh, Tag Force 5. Yeah, it is. She, she's a tough cookie. Like, if you can somehow manage to prevent her from summoning her big monsters like Judgment Dragon, Chaos Sorcerer, or you just get lucky with the with the Light Sworn mills, uh, it's... Oh, man, god damn it. Why do I keep getting the beast in my hand? I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. All right. It's probably going to bring out Discord. Oh, Stumbling. Yeah, that's another way to sit there and prevent you from getting an attack in. Starting off strong with Future Fusion, which is pretty good. Bring out St. Joan, so we can get 200 life points per turn. Which isn't really that good, but... Eh. Oh, Dimensional Prison. Ah. Oh no! Well, so much for that. So much for those two cards. That's unfortunate. We can't do shit. That Dimensional Prison would have saved us from a whole heap of trouble. But because of stumbling... Oh, she's gonna bring the... Oh, never mind. That's actually pretty good, actually. Wait, I thought it was just a monster. Oh, defense... Oh, defense position to attack position. Never mind. Okay. Uh... Oh, there we go. Uh... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna do... This... And this... And... Oh, I can't- I don't think I can use Lila's effect, can I? Maybe that was a bad idea. Never mind, she just used Torrential Tribute, so... Whatever. Alright, well, so much for that. Oh, she had Ryoku in the feet. Alright. So that's one Light Sworn down. Just need two more, and I'll be able to destroy literally everything. Just disrupt everything. As much as I hate to do it, but I really... This... this... this whole back row thing? Not a fan. Never have been. <laughs> Not a fan of this shit. Having a whole back row like that, that's just... And unfortunately, Joan is just gonna be set to the defense position, because of stumbling. But I mean, we have a 2800 beat stick, so I'm not too worried. I'm not too upset. Oh, well, never mind. So much for that. Don't worry, I have Monster Reborn, so I can always bring it back whenever I want to. God damn. We haven't, I haven't used my Torrential Tribute yet. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Alright, now it's Mina's turn. What is she gonna do? Well, it doesn't seem like she could do anything, so that's okay. I'm just going to summon the monk. Yeah, just stumble, make me stumble, trip over my feet. I don't care, and I'll just end my turn. Oh, I really hate that deck. I really hate Lazar's deck. Oh, I can summon Judgment Dragon. Oh, that makes me excited. Oh, you little... Yeah, never mind. Wait, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pop the whole field. Uh, nah, nah, I won't do it. Not until they summon something stronger, like Chaos Sorcerer or something. Man, look at that. He lost. What did he lose? He lose another Zhang Su. Was that whatever that word is? Zhang Zhang Zing Zhang Hu. And I think he lost something else. Late penalty. All right. Well, we're still gaining a whole bunch of life points, so hooray. <laughs> oh, please destroy Stumbling. What? Why? Why? I mean, oh, Imperial Custom, okay. Alright, Imperial Custom, okay, that's pretty good. But, ah, oh, I would've destroyed Stumbling, too. Whatever. Ugh. I'm just waiting for the time. Monster Tribute? What is she tributing? Tragodia? Why? It only has 1800 attack point, And you get the... <laughs> well... 
There we go. <laughs> there, 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 there goes that one. All right, finally we could do some moves. Finally, we can make some moves. Uh, I'm just gonna set Ryoku and go for the attack. Because, like, why not? I'm not gonna summon Judgment Dragon just yet. Because of. Wow, okay. God damn it. I can't wait to destroy. I cannot wait till I can destroy that damn Zing. Zing Zang Hu. Or Stumbling, whichever one. But at this point, I don't think it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Messenger of Peace. You. Son of oh, I should have. Ooh, okay. We have nine thousand life points now. Uh, I told you this. <sighs> Destroy stumbling. Or oh, yeah, that's even better. Thank you. Actually, that's actually better. Forget about what I said. <laughs> Boop. Ooh, there goes that floor synchron. Ugh. You know, it's interesting, because Sherry's ace monster, the Knight of Flowers, Chevalier de Fleur, it actually can just negate any kind of, uh, uh, any trap card. I think any spell or trap card, one of the two. So that's really good for her. So it's basically something that shuts down Lazar, pretty much, I don't know, who else? I don't know, I can't think of anyone else. Alright, my turn. And I have Honest. Time to special summon Judgment Dragon. Hopefully he doesn't have... Yeah, 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 yeah. Time to pop the field by sacrificing a thousand life points. Good riddance. And now I can summon Honest. Uh, no, not yet. Set this. I'll just attack with Honest. They say during your main phase. Does that mean main phase 2 as well? I don't think so. Oh no, yes it does. Okay. That's pretty cool, but... Yeah, put that back in my hand. Truth be told, I'm just gonna... I just have Dimensional Prison, so... Time to mill. Oh, I lost my Monster Reborn! Shit! That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. All right, Sherry. Now you have no problems with bringing out a more powerful monster to attack. For the love of God, Sherry, please. There we go. Now we're talking. Soul of purity and light. Put my bad boy, put my giant dragon into attack position. Oh, yes. Mmm, yes. Oh, no, Mystic Tomato. No. Damn it. It's going to bring out another tomato. But at least he gets some damage in. At least we get some damage in, though. So that's okay. Not, not too angry about it. But here comes another Mystic Tomato. Here he comes. Oh no, it's the clown. All right. Mirror Force, bottomless trap hole, and time to mill. Ooh, I'm sorry, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh... Ooh, Lila. Okay. But let's bottomless that. No, my dimensional prison. Wait, why didn't you use bottomless? You. Oh, you. Alright, one, two, three. Another Marie the Fallen one. All right, time to summon the Light Sworn Paladin. Uh, I'm not going to use Judgment Dragon's effect. Time to destroy this. Gain 300, I think. Pop that. And destroy this. No. And attack with Judgment Dragon. I can't use Honest for that, unfortunately. <laughs> I think I would have... All right, end my turn. Uh, lose two cards. Lose four cards. Ugh. Yeah, Light Swords are fun to play, but my god, do they mill the shit out of your deck. That's pretty
probably Mirror Force, knowing him. Or is it like Jester Confi? Oh no, it's Swords of Revealing Light. Never mind. Still potent though. Still a good card. Oh wow, she's going for the kill. We lose another. <laughs> another Soul of Purity and Light. Jesus Christ. I can understand why she uses that card, so I wish she can. Synchro summon faster. Alright, that's game. I thought this was going to take a lot longer, but only 22 turns? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. And that's game. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, thank God. Oh, man. That was tough. Not going to lie, that was pretty That was pretty tough. Oh, uh, man. Once again, we, fought, we beat Lazar's ass again. Thank God, because my God, as I said before, Lazar... His deck is so stally, it's not. But he can bring out some pretty potent boss monsters like Berea, Lord of the Searing Flames. And he and his like crass clown, uh, dream clown combo is actually pretty good once it gets going. But you have to like lock down your opponent so badly. Ugh, how, how are they so strong? Now talk, like you promised you would. Tell me everything you know. Oh ho ho ho! Enough! I'm just an errand boy. I was ordered to find and retrieve the card. I have no idea what it... Don't trifle with me. If you know the Iliaser, then you should realize that they don't reveal their intentions. And they're totally merciless to those who leak the tiniest bit of their secrets. Is that so? And am I not merciless? I won't hesitate to use any means to learn the truth so I may have my revenge. Eh. No matter what you do to me, you can never get me to talk. I have a wife and son who I love. If I reveal their secrets, it might it would endanger my family. Rip me, rip me to pieces if you must. Oh. Family? Did you say family? How dare you? Because of you people, my family is no more. Just stop it. Stop this. Eh? <laughs> huh? Chorus. What's this? Why do you stand in my way? No, I'm not the same as them, as the Iliaster. How can you say that... I, uh, that I'm trying to do the same thing they did. But I, my family, my parents, ugh. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I can't let you hurt this guy. <laughs> I suppose I should thank you for this. Of course you know that even after this, I'll be following her to snatch the card, right? But I don't want to be in your debt. Now I'm just talking to myself. But there's one thing. Not too long from now, a day is coming when a star will fall from the sky once more. I just wanted to pass that on to you, Chorus. Vice Director, communication inside the building has returned to normal. So then, what should I do with this data? Ah, dispose of it. We'll just say that the intruder stole it. That'll certainly delay the investigation and report. <laughs> yes, sir. Well then, here's the data on and her personal effects. <gasps> it's the teddy bear. We'll only wait 40 seconds, then we're coming after you. Hurry up or we'll arrest you. Oh, we got the teddy bear. Oh, the plot thickens. All right, so I'm gonna find Sherry and I will see you at the next event. Okay, got Sherry up to her heart, last heart. And uh, yeah, let's let's see how this all ends out. Will she get her revenge against Iliaster or not? I don't, I don't know. I hope not. Well, I hope so, but also I hope not. <laughs> no tomorrow for vengeance. Maybe not. I don't know. Chorus! Are you alright, Chorus? Oh, good. There is a serious matter. Another meteor seems to have landed near the city. Oh, that's right. Uh-huh. I rushed over because I was worried about you. About that night, it was a shocking experience which I won't be able to forget. And I was actually determined to act like I always do. Huh? What? You mean Lazar told you about that? He gave us prior notice, so it's likely the Iliaster will turn up at the crash site. Lazar's bosses, the three unseen directors, seem to be the leaders of our enemies. You don't suppose they'll personally come to observe the site, do you? Let's go, Chorus. I can't afford to miss this opportunity. Huh? If you have something to give me? If it's a present to patch things up, it can wait. We must hurry to the crash site. Alright, alright, but, but your teddy bear. Fine, let's go. Hmm, I figured we were going to go to the outskirts, but no, we're going straight to the highway. 
our power, Machine Emperor Grenell Infinity has, a, has it arrived at last. With this, I will be able to further our plans. <laughs> I sure hope this works right, Jacob. This is tiresome. If we attacked every last duelist, then we could surely draw the circuit. Insolent little children. What? Primo, you know nothing. The circuit can't be completed by forcing them to fight. With the potential that we had once lost, humans will apply themselves and aim higher. That power will be released in duels, completing the circuit and generating greater power. Isn't that why we prepared the WTGP and the WRGP? Oh, the plot thickens. You mean that we duelists are just pawns that you have been taking advantage of? You Iliasters! Hmm, calling us Iliasters like that. She must be. You mean, you mean they know too much? <laughs> this just got interesting. I am Sherry LeBlanc, and I've come here to take my revenge on you. Did you say revenge? Yes! You deprived me of my family my mother and father, all for a single card. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I've come to take my revengeance. In correcting history for our great cause, we cannot recall everyone we have terminated. Wow, Jesus, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Ha! We got you. We got a really spirited jewelist on our hands, Jacob. Leave her to me. I'd like to say... Do as you please, but I want to test the power of my new card. Oh god, that's how duelists are. I'll take you on an attack, duel woman. What? I'm the only one who doesn't get a turn? Hey, that's no fun. Chorus, my life is in your hands. So you must... So you must also place your life in my hands. We're going to make them remember what they've done. Oh, wow, that was a short... That was a short... <laughs> that was a short cutscene, but oh man. Jacob and Primo. That should not be too much of a problem. Just because Jacob, his Machine Emperor is only reliant on how high his HP is. So, if his HP, so, his HP, if his life points is 8,000, his Machine Emperor will get 4,000 attack points. So all we have to do is hit him hard and fast and make sure we don't destroy his core. Sound good? Good, because... It's gonna be tough. <laughs> Even though my Light Sworn deck is purely a, you know, it's just no synchro monsters, and our ace monster is, uh, you know, Judgment Dragon and all, I'm still afraid of destroying all his cards because of that. So, Judgment Dragon might have to take a backseat in terms of that, and might have to use Granolith, the Light Sworn Dragon. But I, I think I think we're fine. Uh, fingers crossed. I love how every one of their, like, gear, like, their costumes they're wearing has the infinity symbol. Like, as you can see on his, like, I guess chest, it's, like, right there. Primo has it on his eye, and I think Lester has it on his eye as well. Oh, boy. He summons his core. First turn. That's not good. I just hope we can just pop whatever that twin, whichever one is twin vortex. Uh, aw, oh, shit. F me. Wait, I can do something. I can do this. I can pop that. Because that's probably a card that protects his... Uh... Oh no, it's just Draining Shield. Alright, so out comes his boss monster, but I can destroy it all. Because I have Lightning Vortex. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Oh yes, we can do this. Granel top. Yeah, as you can see... They, their main goal is to destroy these cores in order to summon out these monsters. Um, I think later on they change it so that way they don't do that. So that's pretty cool. And Granol Carrier. Alright. Oh, um, we get to see the cutscene of one of the Machine Emperors. Because we haven't seen that at all throughout this entire Let's Play. We fought these guys multiple times. So, uh, yeah. Welcome to the field, Machine Emperor Granol. Ugh. But now that I know that that, that face-down card wasn't what I thought it was going to be, we can just pop his whole field. So that makes me happy. Whoop! <laughs> oh, that pleases me. Oh, that makes me happy. Uh, I'm just going to set these cards. And, uh... End my turn! <laughs> Alright, Primo. 
Show me what you got. All right, robot. Solidarity. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, because since there are a whole bunch of machine type monsters. Oh no! Wait, if we destroy his nimble momo, if we destroy, I guess like a beast type monster, put a beast type monster in this deck, it should we should destroy that, destroy that solidarity. But it's still a problem. Sherry, for the love of God, do not do what I think you're gonna do. Oh, oh, it was the wise core. God damn it, that is the worst. Oh wait, no, we have solemn judgment. We can do this. We can, we can negate it. And if we destroy the machine, em the main core or whatever, we're gonna see two of them in one duel. All we need to do is see skill infinity. But yeah, if we can just use solemn judgment because that has no, uh, what do you call it? That you can't do anything about it. We can, we can uh, destroy another machine emperor. That's pretty awesome. So we're gonna see two of their ace monsters destroyed in one turn. That makes me happy. These machine emperors are so cool. I have to say, it's a really cool archetype, but it's so reliant on having one of their cores get destroyed, and that's not good. Oh, wow. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> we destroyed them all again. Wow. <laughs> all right. Call of the Haunted. Okay. Ew. Well, at least it's not like... So he's able to do it again. Summon another Machine Emperor, so that is a problem. Uh, MST. What's he gonna do? Oh, what? Oh, man. There goes that idea. Tiger King Wang Ugh. Oh, man, that is a problem. Okay. Well, we... I managed to destroy both the Machine Embers, and yet somehow they still managed to bring out something a little bit worse. Oh. Uh... Can I, uh okay. Not that I care about that, but... Now I can destroy Solidarity with, uh... with Gareth. Uh, so that way they don't get that 800 attack boost. So that's pretty, that's a plus in my opinion. Look at that. Turn to zero now. All right. All right, Primo, what are you gonna do? Cyber Valley, ooh, interesting. So he can just end the battle phase with that. All right, piercing damage, come on, boys. Oh, we have... Oh, sweet, we have Soul of Purity and Light, sweet. But why did you have to get rid of... You could have got rid of Wolf. I wouldn't hold it against you if you got rid of Wolf, because I can't special summon. That ends the battle phase, because it's Cyber Valley. Yeah, and he gets to draw a card. Ugh. So gross. Alright, let's see what happens now. Another... Man, he's just drawing those cores, man. That really sucks because he'll be able to do Twin Vortex. Unless he doesn't screw himself over. Ah, yep, he does it again. Shit! Uh, yeah, no. Won't do that yet. And then he uses Wise Core's ability to pop. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, no! Oh, he gets special summon from the graveyard! Oh, that's... That's actually pretty ingenious. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we get the picture. Oh, that's actually pretty ingenious. But he's just, just but that. But those monsters are gonna get destroyed because of the Grand Core. That makes no sense. That's so dumb. They're just destroying each other's monsters the whole time. So now he's at thirty something hundred. Ugh. That's all on my draw phase. This is all on my during my phase. What the hell? <laughs> it's like you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. And I can't summon... Ugh. All right, um... I guess I could just... Oh yeah, I can't attack. God damn. All right, well, I'm just baiting on him attacking me, so with Dimensional Prison, I'll remove that shit from play, so... He'll never show... He'll never show that thing's face again. Foolish Burial. 
That's probably for uh, his core. Wait, what was that? Oh, I didn't see it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, its effects are negated. Interesting. Okay, so I can't lower your attack by 300. Ooh. Boo hoo. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I thought. Uh, I figured you wanted to want to see that. All right. Well. Yeah, I'll just take the hits. Because I know next turn I can bring out Judgment Dragon. Oh, now I can. Ew. No. Okay. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, we might lose this one. If we can just get rid of that top, we'll be fine. Unless. Oh no, he doesn't have it. Okay, good. Yeah, we may, may or may not lose this one. But I, th I think we're fine. It's, it's, it's close. On really? Why? Was that really your liberty? Allow oh, I should have turned that off as their special. Uh, that was my fault. As long as they don't have that trap card that allows them to negate any kind of effect, I think we should be fine. Oh damn it! I pressed the button again. I'm sorry. Is it unaffected by? S oh, so just remove. Oh, so I guess it's unaffected by. Uh, I guess it's unaffected by by others by a trap cards or something. But it's but it doesn't matter because it's still. Yeah, well, let me see. Ah, uh, stop it. Oh yeah, it can't be targeted by card effects. Okay, that makes sense. Cause I was wondering, like, why is this not happening? Ugh. Did she? Did she bury? Oh, she did. That's why I couldn't do it before. Uh, one, two, three. Two. Three. Okay. Can I? I still can't summon. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose, maybe. I'll just set this. End my turn. Because I just don't want to be <laughs> attacked. Oh. Yeah, so he's going to go for the uh, granule. Yeah, okay, I can't. Just got to survive two more turns. Oh, it's not attacking. So that's 1500. Yeah, we just gotta survive just like one more turn, so that way I could bring out Judgment Dragon. Man, yeah, as I said before, Granul is way more dangerous compared to the other ones, just because of how dependent your H your life points are. So if you're, yeah, it's it's tough. Oh, another Twin Vortex. Okay, where was this before? Oh, uh, yeah, we lost. Uh. That's our second loss in this let's play. That makes me so mad. Ugh. But hey, at least we got to see two of the special summons, so hey. I will see you when I'm in a much better position. Okay, thanks to me, thanks to Honest, we are in a much better position than we were in the last episode. I think I can end it with using two Honests, honestly. <laughs> oh no, my dragon. But that's fine. Alright, Jacob. Bring it on. It's probably, he's probably just going to summon his core, honestly. Like, that's his destiny draw. And then he'll be like, Twin Vortex, Herder, and then whatever. Because, as you can see, that face down that Primo had was a Twin Vortex. So, you know, not today. Oh, Swords of Revealing Light. Yeah, it was going to be one of those two. Another face down. Oh, I should have just set my Heavy Storm for her. But that's okay. You got this. Because I believe Lila can use her special ability again, right? No? Okay, I guess not. I guess it's until my turn. That's okay. I will pop that later. MST. She's gonna destroy. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, Machine Emperor Granel. But he doesn't, but he wasn't special summoned. But he wasn't special summoned, so... Boo-hoo for him. Alright, setting another card. Uh, I don't like this. Yep, he's doing Twin Vortex again. Son of a bitch. And he destroys... 
Ugh, that's not good. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna send this to my hand, to the graveyard. And I guess I could use this, DD Warrior Lady's effect? Because why not? I think I, if I play my cards right, I think I'll be able to destroy Machine Emperor Skeel. Weissel, sorry, not Skeel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know how this works. <laughs> yeah, so these guys cannot be targeted by effects of... Okay. That's why they're so dangerous. Alright. Uh. Okay, so I'm gonna put Lila back up front. Uh. I don't need Liberty at last. Let me just destroy that. Oh, it was another torrential tribute. Uh. Up to two cards your opponent controls. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna foolish burial. Willif, obviously. Use his ability. Bring him out. And I'm gonna tribute Celeste. Tribute for Celestia. So I can destroy at least two of his monsters, his other his other machine emperor parts. Uh pop this. Yes. Uh what's this? Uh I will top change it. Yeah, I'll destroy those two. So now he's back to now he's thirteen hundred, so now he's weak as shit. And let's attack. Uh I'm gonna Go for this, that way I can just destroy everything. Oh, I can use Honest! Alright, well, I could have yeah, I could have done that. Oh man, 2600, damn! So close. I, I think I should have used Honest. But that's okay. Alright. Alright, Jacob, you have literally no cards in your hand, right? Right? Hopefully? <laughs> no, he has three cards in his hand. Whatever they could be, I don't know. But I know for a fact that Gran that Machine Emperor Granal Infinity uh, sucks. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to do shit with only 150 <laughs> attack points. <laughs> that is the biggest weakness of his Machine em of his Machine Emperor compared to the other two. Uh, all right. Why didn't I have this good of a hand last time? Ah, Draining Shield. Oh no. God damn it. Well. So he gets to hang on for a little bit longer. Damn it. Stupid, 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 stupid draining shield. Yeah, that's also how he gets his life points back. It's pretty, as I said before, his his deck is pretty good. It's pretty solid when it comes to that. But that is game. Can't do shit. I'm just gonna summon another monster just, just to fuck with him. Alright, that is game. Uh, yeah, let's go for Celestia. Oh man, Sherry's story was so hard for no reason. I don't know why. Oh man. All right. Damn, that was tough. Oh man. Whew. What? No. We did it. We won. Now the final blow. This will show you, Papa, Mama, your revenge. Not so fast! Direct physical attacks are a breach of etiquette! <laughs> uh, fool! Oh, whoa. Gah! <laughs> Jacob's punishment is severe, isn't it? He can't move. Oh, I think the circuit reacted. How you disappoint me. Those whose duels merely stir the circuit have only this recourse. You call yourself a real duelist. Oh. <laughs> Didn't she say something about a card? Oh. Oh, of course. Is that something they need, or what? I don't know. I remember. The daughter at the LeBlanc house. You're Dr. LeBlanc's daughter. This zone card is the key to controlling the NRD system used in our plan. Infinity... Dr. LeBlanc was involved in its development, a great man who tried to learn too much. He found out our secret for rewriting history, so we had to have him eliminated. 
<laughs> just, and that's just what happened. Uh, Papa, aww. Well, it's fitting then that we'll eliminate his daughter like this. I'll do it. It'll all be over in an instant. Farewell, my lady. Live in harmony with your parents in the afterlife. Oh, that is so... That is so... morbid. What? You! What are you doing with my sword, my dual disc, and the zone card? Chorus, what are you doing with the card? Oh no, the energy is in overdrive. It's out of control. Darn you. Forget it, Primo. You'll be swallowed up. Emergency evacuation. Oh, how nice of them to just teleport away. Chorus! Chorus! Uh-oh. What the hell did I do? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. That didn't sound so bad, right? Hey, where are we? Answer me, Chorus. Just where are we? I don't know. Oh, we teleported. In this? Unbelievable. Is this the work of that card's power? <laughs> That's great, Chorus. You're not hurt. If anything happened to you, I just couldn't... Aww. Yes, you're right. I wasn't able to carry out my revenge. Even worse, the Iliaster said I'm a failure as a duelist. Ugh. Revenge is really all I have left. And so... What's this? Your teddy bear. Aww. My teddy bear! You found it for me? Ah, but... No, Chorus. I'm not worthy enough to accept this. Like the Iliaster, I've done anything to achieve my ends. My hands are dirty, and I... Being able to hold this piece of my happy childhood once more, it... Mm hmm? What's that? There must be a new future beyond just getting revenge? Yeah! Really? Is there really a future for the likes of me? Aw, thanks, Chorus. Picking you as my partner was really a good idea. Looks like I'll be able to sleep well tonight. Naturally, in your room... Aw, oh, I... Damn it, <laughs> I forgot what it said. Mademoiselle Sherry. Huh? What? Ellsworth? Mademoiselle's exclusive Dual Runner Storm has been prepared. Oh, I see. Thank you. I will pick you up a little later. Please tell Chorus I said thank you. Ah. <laughs> Too bad, Chorus. See you later. See you next time at the WRGP, riding in the wind of a turbo duel. Ah. Well, that is the end of Sherry's story. Another long one. Just because I got my ass kicked. But with that, we got her Ace Monster Chevalier de Fleur. We haven't seen it. Uh, once per turn, during each of your turns, when you, or your opponent activates a spell or trap card, you can negate the activation and destroy that card. Oh, so it's spell or trap. I was right. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty good card. Only level 8, so it's pretty easy to summon out with Quick Draw Synchron, because it requires a Synchron monster. So, uh, yeah. That is the end of Sherry's story. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.